Hello, old hammerers. As I said in the video last week, I'm not dead. I am still here and I am still doing a little bit of stuff on the hobby front. And uh, to be honest, the reason I haven't been putting any content out recently is just because I've been mega busy with other areas of life. I run a business, I have a family, I have a house that needs renovating and I've just got caught up with other tasks. Plus, I always think I don't like to do content for the sake of content. I like to give you something that you can use. Whilst I was on a walk just the other day, I came across something that made me chuckle and remember a technique that I thought you'd like to know. So let's get on with it. Okay, so what I wanted to show you today was a really cool little basing technique. So many of us rush our bases. We want the figure finished, we just paint the base black, or we stick a small layer of plaster or milliput over it, paint it black or grey, bit of dry brushing, Bob's your uncle, it'll do. Well, why can't we just take a little bit more time and apply small, a few small simple techniques that don't cost the earth just to make sure that your base matches the hard work that you've put onto your figure. A while ago, some people said, what are those little leaves that I keep seeing everywhere on models? And I also did not know. And I was like, yeah, they're kind of like little sycamore leaves. A few people on the forums told me, oh, you mean silver birch seeds. So I went up onto the moor where there are lots of silver birch trees growing and came up blank. Couldn't find any seeds from the silver birch tree. And I was looking for these little um, leaf type things that I thought would be growing on the plant in bunches. Well, that's not the case. Here we have silver birch seed pods. And they just look like hard little catkins, little pods, little caterpillar type things. Feel fairly soft to the touch. I picked one up the other day and I was like, Still, there's no sign of these little leaf things until I took one of these pods off and crushed it in my fingers. This is what I saw. So this is what I saw. Squeeze the catkin with your fingers and look inside. Out comes squilling all these little wonderful leaves and seeds. Now. If you just go through them with your fingers, you've got to separate the leaves. But as you can see, there are lots of nice little leaves here that you can use in your model building. You see how small that is? That's the pencil, the nib of a pencil. And uh, there's one of those little leaves. So separating those out with tweezers and you can have a lot of beautiful little tree leaves that you can add to your bases. Okay, so here, as you can see, there's quite a good selection of uh, leaves, quite a good amount of leaves, and it's gonna take me a little while to sort through these and pick all the leaves from the seeds. Now, whether you consider that worth the time or not, what I'm trying to do here, people, is show you that you don't, if you don't have the money to go out and buy a set of leaves, now, to be honest, I've got the money, but I choose to do things for free that I can do myself rather than spending money that I don't need to spend. So, so to give you a quick update, the amount of seeds that I unpacked there was about 10 catkins, as I said. Now, that's going to be way too much for your needs if you're just basing a single figure. Literally, one catkin will give you plenty for a single figure. If you're gonna do an army, then you, you're gonna to have to put the time in. But as you can see, those 10 catkins filled this entire box. Now I haven't separated all the seeds out, but I have separated out um, probably enough to cover, cover a couple of bases there. You wouldn't want complete leaf cover over the whole base anyway. You just want a sprinkling just to be more natural. That's just, you know, probably 
five minutes separation work there. I also said I would show you what to do with the leftovers. So these are some silver birch leaves and as you can see these are quite small leaves. They, you know, silver birch leaves can be much bigger than this but um, this is what I've got from off the edge of the catkins. Now I've got this fantastic little thing. This is not a sponsored post so I'm not going to mention it but it's Green Stuff World, it's a leaf punch. I think it cost about eight pounds when I bought it, something like that anyway. And all it is, is a little punch and there's a metal plate here with several different types of leaves cut out. When you press this button down, you get one of each type of leaf. Now be careful when you buy this online because actually it's easy to buy the wrong one. There's several types, so just look re really carefully. I selected the type that would give me um, four different styles of leaf. So you can use paper of course or other thin items to create your leaves but why not just use an organic substance like a real leaf. If you want a leaf to look real <laughs> use a leaf. So let's show you how to do that. and so on. So that's the Leaves tutorial completed. All pretty straightforward and simple. Now the only other thing I've got to show you is this. As I went further on my walk I came across this. It was a simple seed pod on a weed growing at the side of a field. I looked at it, some very nice little leaves on there, they are heart-shaped leaves. You can have a close-up here. As you can see, these, this weed has these heart-shaped leaves on it. And again, these would be really good for vines or creepers up the side of a castle, or maybe just, you know, foliage on the ground. All cost nothing. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Really simple little tutorial. It's good to be back. If you enjoyed this video, do hit like and subscribe and I'll try to create some more videos just as soon as I can. See you next time.